hi everyone and welcome to another youtube video so the video for today is actually going to be a bit different because this time i actually have it in mind to create uh, a playlist that will actually help you to know how to use ibm spss to perform statistical analysis from the basic level down to the advanced level ibm spss is one of the great tools out there that you can actually use to perform statistical analysis among other tools so before i actually uh, jump into the tool as a whole and start teaching one or two things i would actually like to introduce you to the software as a whole so basically the software was created in the year 1968 and it was called spss which actually means statistical package for the social sciences so the target audience for the creator of SPSS was that people in the social sciences may not really have a strong math background or statistics background. They actually still want to perform research and do their projects and they are going to be needing statistical analysis in this project. So they actually created a software that is going to make statistical analysis as simple as possible. In the year 2009, SPSS was actually purchased by IBM and by 2015, it was renamed and was now called IBM SPSS. SPSS, where the SPSS does not literally mean anything again. It doesn't really mean statistical packages for the social sciences. It's just IBM SPSS. So in this video, I'll be introducing you to the interface of SPSS, the workspace of SPSS, uh, the tools that you're going to be using most times, and just an overview of what SPSS is all about. So without further ado, let's get into SPSS and start learning properly. So when you open SPSS for the first time, this is actually the view that you actually get introduced to and i like to call this view the workspace because this is where you're going to be spending most of your time working on your data set so let's just quickly talk about the things we can see we have the data view on the like the bottom left we can see the data view and we can actually see the variable view which i'll actually talk more about you know so this is a data view and this is the variable view once you come to the file you can actually open any data set and once you click on open okay it's going to like only open spss type of file which is actually a sav file or a z sav file so if you have like an sav file like this file right here it's actually going to like open the file okay but it can't open any other type of file apart from sav if you are going to be using the open prompt so let's just cancel that and uh, you can also import data so this is where we actually uh, need to pay attention to so if i have uh, my excel file a csv data or a sas data i can actually import them right from here and uh, i have this excel file i want to use so i can just click on excel and it's going to bring out this table and, and as you can see we have uh the excel xls and xlx and those excel files so all of these are the excel files i have and i want to use this file so i'll just click on this and click on open and it's going to like load for like few seconds then bring out those prompts to show you the uh the things i have from excel and you know try to ask you some questions so you can just read this through and pick what makes sense to you but most times you don't need to touch anything just click on ok and it's going to import the excel file now you notice that it actually brings out a dialogue so this right here now this is actually called the output now it runs the code to actually import the excel file from excel like from the excel folder rather down to this place and any analysis you want to do let's say descriptive or inferential or you want to plot any graph it's going to be done right here so we call this the output file so let's go back to our view so we can just come back here and click on our data so we actually have our data set right here we have the weight we have the height we have the type of car so we have three variables right here and as you can see it's actually giving us the number of variables that we have right here so if we increase the number of variables it's going to like increase this number if you over around this like just place your cursor right here it's going to like tell you like three details about the variable for the weight we have a uh, name the weight we have the type of the variable which is numeric and we have the scale the same thing applies to height uh, which is um this and we also have the same thing for types of cars so this is actually everything we need to know about our data view so we can also have things like edit which you can just you know edit your file you can have view you can have data this way you can actually uh, manage your data you know we are going to come back to all of those we can transform our data set right here also and this is where you analyze and this is where like like this is like the the powerful part of SPSS, meaning you're going to be doing a whole lot of analysis right here. We have a whole lot of them from power down to descriptive, down to inferential Bayesian and all of those stuff. So we'll come back to this. And the graph section is where you actually, uh, you know, plot your graphs and 
you know visualize your data set so uh, let's come to the variable view once you come to the variable view you are going to be met with like a couple of things the first one is a name where you can actually edit the name of the variable right here uh look at this type of car you can just now once you notice that you can whenever you want to name a variable in spss you can't put space in between this okay i'm trying to put space right now if i press enter excuse me types of car and i try to like make a space you see it's gonna like tell me that the variable contains an illegal character so you can't actually use space but you can use underscore you can just put an underscore here like types of car that actually works fine okay so we have the name of the variables which you can actually edit here you can also edit the name of the variable by just double tapping on it from the data view you know just double tap and it brings you right here so the type of the variable sorry excuse me so, and that reminds me so this is the redo button this is the undo button undo redo rather so i can just redo that okay so the type of data if you click on that you're going to be having um numeric we have comma we have dot we have scientific we have data we have string we have custom currency so i'm just going to like keep our data set on numeric because you know it's just numeric now uh so our weight is actually a numeric data now the width is all about a string data now for a string data it's just those data that consist of letters so the width is actually the number of letters that you, that you can actually compress into your string data so right here for this we have 11 so if you count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 of them so we have 11 right here. you can actually increase it to like as much as possible and it can actually cram in more letters right here for your string data so that's it about that so this section is actually where we add a decimal place to our variables so we can just increase this to one decimal place also to one decimal place and then when we come right here we can have this in like just a single decimal place we can't add a decimal place to the type of car because it's actually not a numerical variable so the label right here is actually this point where you can actually tell more story about your variable define your story like just give it like a label just explain so you can increase this width and actually uh say you can say weight of participants and that's it and uh, the height you can say height of participants if you notice right here you can actually include space and actually put all of the things you want to put right here so the values is where things get interesting so this is like the value labels so where you can actually attach a number to uh, a specific variable that can never take a numerical value and that is what we call a categorical variable so this section is actually mostly useful whenever you are trying to attach a number to a categorical variable a categorical variable is a variable that can never take a numerical value so uh, the categorical variable in this case of us is actually the type of car so we can actually label type of car you click on this dot right here so suv please this is actually case sensitive meaning if you are using uppercase in your data view you have to use uppercase right here so we have SUV suv and we can tag suv as one we add uh, we can tag crv crv as two we also click on add uh, we can tag a sports car uh there's a uh, sports cars is it is there s there okay let's i think it's sports car uh we can tag that as three we click on add then we have a uh, convertible convertible uh, we can tag that as four and then we can tag jeep as a five i guess so we can click on add then click on okay once you come back to your data view it's supposed to oh we have sport car so we have sport car we have minivan so sport car should be three minivan should be five all right so let's come back here again sport car so let's put a space right here uh, so we change it okay we change that and let's click on okay and then we have a minivan as five so we have a minivan and we give that five add and okay so when we come to our data view we can see that we have one two three four five now if you want to switch back to the labels okay like the name of the cars you can just come right here and switch it and it comes down to this and you can also switch it back so it's like an arrow to move from labels down to the numbers so let's go back to the variable view so this right here helps us to increase the width of our column which we can just you know actually increase right here by just doing this and uh, 
i think that's fine by us because you can actually align your variables towards the left you know right or center which i can actually do right here so if you notice gone back it has actually aligned it to the left you can align it to the right or center so the most important part of all of this is to actually talk about the measure so weight is actually on an interval scale it is actually a numerical value so you actually have to like keep it on a numerical value but types of car is actually on a nominal scale so you have to actually keep it on that so um we have just three skills right here we have the numerical scale we have the ordinal and we have the nominal so you have to actually pay attention to that so if you want to learn more about the concept of nominal ordinal interval and ratio i actually have a video specifically for that so you can actually check that out and that's just everything you need to know about spss workspace and the data view and uh, the variable view so thanks for making it to the end of this video if you have any question from me or you feel like i actually missed something please go down to the comment section and drop your questions i'll be very happy to actually answer those questions thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now